Hi all and welcome back to my channel. So recently it has just become autumn or fall if you will here in London and I just had to go on a little homewares shop to get me in the mood for more of a cozier. So keep on watching and I'll show you what I collected from my shopping. So I wanted some beautiful new champagne glasses and I went for a little bit of a shop and the best one that I could find that would really suit my uh, teaware that I have currently was in John Lewis. I found these LSA glasses and they are flutes but they have a radiant effect. So here we have one of the glasses. You can see that there is pink down where the liquid sits and they are kind of serrated in a design and it's got a nice long stem. I thought these were so nice and definitely really cool for spring and when you're having guests but really good for spring and I think it would go really nice with my Royal Albert set as well. I also while I was in there found these really cute little glasses that are um, they've got this kind of basket around them which you can take off so the basket actually slips out like this and you can wash this and you know they're really good for decorating as well I thought that these were really nice and yeah I'm just gonna leave them out on display so the last thing that I picked up from John Lewis was these beautiful placemats and I got uh, two sets so the sets are of two and when you open up these you can smell the hay <laughs> so it smells very grassy and this is by the brand Naturals so they don't say if they were handmade or anything like that but they are made of grass so really interesting they're going to be really good on the table uh, again you could pop any sorts of colour, this is just going to be your staple, it's going to look very natural, uh, so natural tones. Okay, so I was in Westfield Shopping Centre and I come across Zara Home. Now I don't really see Zara Home very often. I was very intrigued to see what pieces that they had. So I saw this napkin and I just really like the design. It's got these nice little uh, flowers on there and it's also got some leaves. And I think this is really good for neutral tones on the dining setting and if you've got a pop of colour usually this can just kind of fade into the background but look very elegant. I also liked that they are linen because linen is just so natural looking and because I live in such a modern house I like to bring those elements into my home. One of the main reasons that I actually went into Zara Home was I was trying to find some uh, air diffusers so I was trying to find either something like reeds or um, I've got lots of sprays but I did want something that kind of always scents the house so I found this in there as well it's got the home fragrance in there so previously I'd used a neon one and it was really really good but I wanted to try something different so when you open up you can see that the bottle is in here and then you've got this lid and the reeds. I think the packaging is really nice for Zara. I thought, I, I was really impressed when I walked in the store. It was very nicely presented. And this smelled really nice. So I cannot wait to pop this. Just in my entryway, when you walk in the house, you get that beautiful scent and it always makes you happy to be home. So in this big bag, I have wanted one of these for so long and I've just kept pushing it off because they are a little bit pricey and I thought, whose business is it paying that much for something like this? When I tried it on, I knew that I would not regret it because it is something you'd use again and again. That is a bathrobe. Yes, the White Company have, in my opinion, some of the best bathrobes. They are just made so well and they are so comfortable and oversized as well. So open this one up. This one is really, really cool because it has a hoodie on it as well. So the hoodie will keep you really warm, keep your head nice and cozy and dry your hair when you get out of the shower. And it also has a tie 
Now I was debating between getting this one or the one that had the ribs all over it but when I popped this one on it just looked a little bit more elegant and the sleeves have really nice details in them as well and I thought that yeah this one was definitely a lot more nicer. I also like the piping that it has along the edges that was really cool. So this robe was called the Hydro Cotton Hoodie Hooded Robe and it is in the size medium and it's 100% cotton. So this is going to be my new shower buddy. <laughs> After that I went to a few places, Space and K, and I really wanted to have a few new beauty products uh, for just coming into this new month. I like to cycle products, I always like to try new things because our skin adjusts to certain products and you can always find benefit from recycling your skincare products. The first thing I picked up is uh, something that I've had tried um, in a sample pot years and years ago and I fell in love. My skin absolutely loved how it worked and it felt so amazing after I used it. That is the Eve Lom Cleanser. Now this Eve Lom Cleanser is a little bit on the pricey side. It feels so luxurious when you use it. They recommend that you pop it onto the face to remove makeup and massage in and then you use a muslin cloth to get rid of the excess makeup. It is such a good product. So inside they have a few packs of the muslin cloths and this is really handy because they do sell them separately but they're quite expensive and of course you can reuse and rewash these ones multiple times. And then here is the product. This product packaging is so luxurious. It is beautiful. It's got a little tab here before you open it up and the colour in there is like this nice natural green. Mm, I still remember the scent. So it's got a very special ingredient in there which the skin is very uh, sensitive to but there's a very small amount and it gives you such a nice feeling when you're popping it on the skin. For me, my skin really loves it, but if you're a sensitive skin type, it might be a little bit overwhelming. And that ingredient is clove bud. So I will read what the back says. It says, Eve Lom Cleanser, warm a small amount of cleanser between your fingers and use circular movements to massage onto dry skin. Place the muslin cloth in hot water and wring out. Press the warm, damp cloth onto the face and hold for five seconds to open the pores. Repeat three times. So that is how you'd use that product. In the little leaflet, I might be able to find the ingredients in here. Nope, never mind. They're not in there. They might be on the box. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's got lanolin, it's got a little bit of alcohol, um, and it's got a little bit of paraffinum in there as well. And one of the really luxurious ingredients in there is um, eucalyptus globus leaf oil. And then it's also got that clove leaf oil in there as well. I just love this product. It works so well for my skin when I used it. So I'm really happy to have it again. So I also went into the fragrance department and I found two new fragrances which I'm really happy to have into my collection. One of them is the Aqua de Palma fragrance and this is the Rosa Nobel fragrance. And this fragrance I've smelt before and I thought it was a little bit on the citrusy side as a lot of Aqua de Palma fragrances are, but I've smelled it a couple of times after that and I really did enjoy how it smelled. I thought that this is the perfect everyday fragrance. It's not offensive. If you overspray this fragrance, you will get lots of compliments. It is one of those fragrances that just smells very pleasant, and but it's very finely done. And I do find that Aqua de Palma have really beautiful fragrances, and I am very excited to have this one. So let's open it up. Packaging feels very nice. I would almost like to keep this little um, box. So it comes in a little cylinder like so and then you have the product inside. I find that so gorgeous. I love the pink on the bottom and it is so small. I'm going to give it a sniff. Okay and I'm gonna spray on this arm for this fragrance. Mm. It's very luxurious smelling. 
this is going to be so easy to wear. I'm one of those people who likes to wear floral fragrances all through the year. I have no rules or restrictions on what time of the year. I find that if you're going to follow all these rules about things, then you're just going to blend into the crowd and nobody will notice anything special that you're, you're carrying on you. Or, you know, if you're always wearing the same colors during fall or you're always wearing the same things during summer, then you're just going to blend in and it's not going to be as special but uh, you really do stand out when you embrace some of the things that we love personally and we wear them outside of the seasons. So as it's starting to dry down it's got this beautiful scent to it. It is very rosy. Of course it is very citrusy as well. The citrus does not blow the whole fragrance out of the water. It is very subdued in the background. And yeah, this is so easy to wear. A couple of months ago, I bought um, a Mason Margiela fragrance and I have to be honest, that fragrance does not work for me very well. I think the fragrance I should have got was Flower Market, but I got Springtime in the Park. And I think it's that Lily of the Valley note that I'm not still comfortable with. I don't really enjoy it. But a rose fragrance is always going to please me. So in here it says that the, the fragrance notes are rose, floral, fresh, citrus, powdery, musky, fresh, spicy, woody and violet. And if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see that mandarin is the in the top notes as well as bergamot and pepper. I don't really get the pepper in there. I do get the mandarin orange, uh, I think, and the bergamot is definitely apparent. And then the middle notes are rose, peony, uh, violet lily of the valley and then there's some musk cedar and ambergris in there and so as it has now dried down for about two minutes I am definitely sensing the musk in there the rose is still quite apparent a lot of that citrusy feel that we had before has now dissipated yeah I really like that fragrance I think it's going to be very easy to wear and I'm, I might even wear it to work I only got the 50 mil, so I don't want to go through it too quickly, but um, yeah, I definitely will be wearing that a lot. Lastly, this is a fragrance that I have also smelled a while ago. It is not a first impression and I really did enjoy it. It's another beautiful, fresh springtime fragrance that really does resonate and it just makes you smell so beautiful, but yet it's got a modern twist. And this is from Lueve, and this is called the Ella from Lueve. It's a beautiful cardboard box. So you just open it up like a coffin, and then the beautiful fragrance is sitting inside. Isn't that just gorgeous? Uh, it is a bit of a matte finish, and it's got the wooden top. It looks very similar to the woman uh, fragrance from Lueve, which is also called Woman. very good quality lid when you're opening and you can see it has the logo on the top. I'm going to spray this. I can still smell uh, Aqua de Farma on this hand. It smells so beautiful. So let's give this arm a little whirl. Oh, now this is something else. I really do enjoy this. Oh, first fragrance, I get this candyish kind of floral scent. And there's a bit of wood in there as well. It's a very um, subdued wood. Yeah, the wood is starting to come through quite strongly now. I can definitely smell the wood a lot more. But it is sweet, not overly sweet. I can just sense that it has this very youthful, fresh, modern kind of a smell. I think there might be bergamot in there as well. Mm. But definitely from first impressions, I'm getting... I feel like this one I would have to overspray quite a little bit because I feel that it just a couple of sprays does not resonate as well but it is a beautiful scent. I'm going to check the notes on this one as well. Okay so it took me a little bit of time to find it but I'm not sure if it's the same one. I've got on here the Ella but it is a solo version so I think that one is slightly different and more tropical because I'm not getting many tropical notes from this. I'm actually getting lots of woody notes and uh, the Fragrantica version 
says that it is tropical, fruity, sweet, fresh, floral, woody, powdery, vanilla, rose. I'm not getting any tropical notes in this one. And I know that that one is different because this is the Agua on the top. And this one says solo on the top. Nevertheless, I am loving the smell of this. Because it is an outer toilette, I would overspray this one. And it is just for that everyday kind of freshen up kind of a smell. I just find it so nicely done. I'm really getting into the elder toilet versions of fragrances just because they are very fresh and even though they don't last as well I find that they're very intimate and they long they last long but they don't project and I think I'm fine with that if I'm only smelling the fragrance on me I do like it to be of a very nice quality so I'm really happy with this one and that is all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing what I collected from the homewares department and coming into the autumn weather. We are very sad to see summer go, but we are gonna have such fun as we head towards the end of the year. Please give this video a little like if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more of this type of content. Thank you.